One, two, three. Hello, everyone. My name is Shelley McGee, and I'm the chairwoman of the Cola Jazz Foundation. For almost 20 years, I was an advertising executive in broadcast television, and now I'm a digital strategist with an agency called Digital Tulip. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Rouse, president of the Cola Jazz Foundation. Longtime resident of Columbia, moved here in 1982, started my state firm agency in 1988. I've been playing jazz in this town since the late 90s. Hello everybody, I'm Ebony Ram, lead jazz educator for the Cola Jazz Foundation as well as poet, jazz vocalist, and teaching artist. Hi, I'm Christy Quatron, Secretary of Cola Jazz, and I serve as the Director of Boards and Commissions to the South Carolina Governor. Hi, I'm Sherry Hutchinson, and I'm the Vice Chair of the Cola Jazz Foundation and former producer of NPR's Marion McPartland's Piano Jazz. I'm Luther Batiste, a member of the Cola Jazz Board of Directors. I'm a partner in the law firm of Johnson, Toll & Batiste, and the 2020 president of the American Board of Trial Advocates. Hey everyone, this is Mark Rapp, founder and executive director of the Cola Jazz Foundation. As they say, hindsight is 2020, and what a year it was. Cola Jazz opened up the year with a sold out show featuring smooth jazz saxophonist Dante Lewis at our Live in the Lobby series in partnership with the Cover Center for the Arts. Also in January, Cola Jazz founder Mark Rapp was named a 2020 ambassador by the Experience Columbia team. Wrapping up January, Ingenuity South Carolina, the local nonprofit that works with area leaders to make Columbia, South Carolina region a standout choice for its thriving arts community, featured our premier educational outreach ensemble the Little Big Band, the band that could, as their grand finale of their event. As we swung into February, Cola Jazz was present at the South Carolina Music Educators Association Annual Conference, offering after-school jazz workshops and educational concerts, where we interacted with hundreds of band students and directors. Cola Jazz brought jazz to the Cobra Center main stage and to the unusual sphere for jazz, ballet. We ended February with our little big band performing in the Columbia City Ballet's world premiere of The Great Gatsby. In March of 2020, as the COVID pandemic was beginning to affect our area, the Little Big Band played the final show of the Great Gatsby Ballet in Camden. At this point, mid-March, the pandemic was in full swing. On March 18th, Cola Jazz launched our first Wednesday night live stream concert, and we've not stopped. Since that first concert, we have seen 105 musicians take to the stage. You, our amazing jazz community, stepped up big time, donating over $16,000 throughout the year to our local musicians. Cola Jazz developed an online tip jar, gathering and showcasing individual artists and their online payment gateways, such as Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal. This allowed jazz fans to quickly find and support their favorite artists. The Who's on the Move feature by Midlands Biz is a quick two minute interview in support of the undeniable impact that the arts and local artists have on our communities. Cola Jazz director Mark Rapp was first up to be interviewed about our hard work through the Cola Jazz Foundation. April is Jazz Appreciation Month, as designated by the Smithsonian Jazz Organization. As the pandemic was in full throttle, we focused our jazz efforts on the World Wide Web, ramping up our online content to keep jazz alive and accessible. Cola Jazz produced a Jazz Appreciation Month virtual club crawl, highlighting an array of jazz artists and jazz venues. It culminated on April 30th with an International Jazz Day virtual concert. Come on, snap your fingers. Cola Jazz also produced 
a Jazz for Young People video for Richland Library. And thanks to a South Carolina Arts Commission grant, we produced a similar program for families and their kids. In May, tapping into our newfound friendship, with video technology, we began to create collage videos featuring Dick Goodwin and members of our little big band. Check them out on our YouTube channel at Cola Jazz. Also in May, Cola Jazz released our statement on cultural equality. We are an organization that celebrates the unique music created by African Americans. Jazz continues to be a living statement of democracy and action. Jazz is a language of equality, communication, celebrating differences, taking time to understand complex experiences, doing what's right, and thoughtfully responding with soul. By June, we had 30 videos up on our YouTube channel, including thank you messages from various jazz artists and a couple more video collages featuring Shannon Pinckney and Pete Nader. The Cola Jazz Foundation is deeply inspired by a U.S. Armed Forces motto. It reads, the difficult we do immediately, the impossible takes a little longer. The Cola Jazz Foundation was determined to host a summer jazz camp. Once we had our virtual camp plan in place, we reached out to other camps in South Carolina, invited them to partner up and be involved. Our fourth annual summer jazz camp featured 48 courses taught over four days 21 faculty and an international audience of over 100 participants. We offered programs for all ages and at all skill levels. And we were joined by so many amazing artists. Delfeo Marsalis, Dave Liebman, Wes Warm Daddy Anderson, Amy Nolte, Don Braden, Nikki Perrot, as well as a host of acclaimed local and regional jazz educators. During the Cola Jazz Camp, the Foundation was enthusiastic to offer a free Jazz for Young People virtual concert for families on a Saturday morning. Additionally, Columbia Living Magazine featured Cola Jazz director Mark Rapp and our efforts through the Foundation. Oh, yeah. Early August, SCETV interviewed Cola Jazz director Mark Rapp on our response to the pandemic. They also interviewed Charlton Singleton, Walter Hemingway, and Terrence Young. Tripsavvy.com, a top 10 global website on travel, featured Cola Jazz in the article, How Tourism Businesses Are Pivoting During the Pandemic. Cola Jazz launched a Facebook group called Midlands Jazz and Beyond by inviting anyone who desires to see jazz grow in South Carolina to join this group. We amplify all of our abilities to reach a deeper, larger, more encompassing audience for jazz. In lieu of an in-person roundtable, we released a survey to jazz musicians and jazz fans to better serve our community. Through those responses, we are better equipped to serve you more effectively and be a place of support for you. Cola Jazz provided the music for Cobra Center's an American in Paris event held outside in the Sacred Park Baseball Complex. Cola Jazz was a featured part of the National Cox Campus Fall Virtual Conference. Foundations Incorporated, along with the Atlanta Speech School and the Campaign for Grade Level Reading, hosted an exciting afternoon of free educational resources, tutorials, and fun, all revolving around literacy development in young children. Cola Jazz, in partnership with Front Coffee and Tap, launched a weekly outdoor jazz event featuring local jazz groups. Weather permitting, the weekly attendance averaged in the hundreds with families, friends, and family pets. September saw us running smoothly with weekly Wednesday night jazz live stream concerts and our Thursday night jazz on the river series. Many of our artists had opportunities to perform and to showcase their efforts during this time. Cola Jazz even received an honorable mention in the Free Times Best of Bowl for our Cola Jazz Festival. Cola Jazz became the producing partner of the South Carolina Jazz Festival. Cola Jazz director Mark Rapp put together a seven-day, 
14 concert virtual jazz festival featuring local, regional, national, and international artists. Mark programmed artists from Brazil, New York, California, and across the state. Cola Jazz hosted a socially distant thank you event for many of our supporters and donors with a performance by the Little Big Band. In the last month of 2020, the Little Big Band performed a sold out show at Trustus Theater. Adhering to CDC guidelines, of course, and representing our brand new annual Cola Jazz Concert Series, Eve of the Eve, live at the Cola Center. We are inspired by the great Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he said, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in times of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in times of challenge and controversy. 2020 was a challenge for all of us. We at Cola Jazz embrace that jazz is a living music, a healing music, and an important art form to support now and always. We've learned a lot this past year. We've struggled, we've overcome a lot of obstacles, and we're gonna take with us a lot of lessons learned into 2021. Our work throughout 2020 has earned us incredible recognition with the Wall Street Journal. Cola Jazz is also the recipient of the Central Carolina Foundation's Jumpstart Grant. So this is an exciting opportunity throughout this whole year. Our Wednesday night live stream concerts will continue each week, and we hope you will join us. We have two big concerts quickly approaching. A year after we had to shut it down, Live in the Lobby is back with an all-star group from New York City on February 12th. And on Valentine's Day, February 14th, our Cola Jazz Little Big Band is going to put on a swinging concert at the beautiful Newberry Opera House. April is Jazz Appreciation Month, and we already have 12 events planned with many more to come. I'm also extremely excited to announce, beginning Sunday, April 4th, South Carolina Public Radio and Cola Jazz are launching a statewide Sunday evening radio program called Cola Jazz Presents. It is an hour long show full of interviews and music featuring our local great musicians as well as regional musicians. So hope you tune in Sunday nights at 8 p.m. on South Carolina Public Radio. In May, we're gonna see the return of the Cola Jazz Festival and there is something amazing happening. I can't tell you what it is yet, but it's incredible. Our summer jazz camp will be back in July and it's going to be a hybrid experience, uh, some in-person classes as well as uh, online. And because there is so much going on, I ask you to please sign up for our Cola Jazz e newsletter. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and uh, stay in touch with all the amazing developments for 2021. So on behalf of myself and the Cola Jazz Board of Directors, I want to say a huge, tremendous, heartfelt thank you. This past year, you have stepped up and supported us tremendously and we are steadfast to be here for you no matter what. Jazz lives every single day, and we're gonna serve you and jazz music every single day. So thank you so much.